Japan is world famous for its temples and shrines. And although most first time tourists stick to the golden route of Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto, it doesn't mean that there aren't some fantastic temples to be seen elsewhere. One such temple is Tokoji. Hagi was formerly the capital of the Choshu domain, ruled by successive generations of the Mori clan from 1604 all the way to 1868. Here in Hagi, a dedicated family temple of the Mori clan, Tokoji, honours their dynasty. Tokoji is located to the east of Hagi's delta and belongs to the Obaku school of Zen Buddhism, originating in China. As a result, we can see some Chinese influence in the style of the temple, for instance, its vivid red outer gate. The temple has an extremely tranquil and peaceful atmosphere, its inner grounds surrounded by trees. Many of Tokoji's structures are designated national important cultural properties. Understandable when you see the great condition they're all preserved in. Standing magnificently at the centre of the temple grounds is the main temple hall. The exterior is architecturally stunning, featuring Onigawara roof tiles. Beneath an impressive lattice ceiling, the interior features a statue of the historic Buddha Shakyamuni. Outside the hall, visitors can make a prayer with an Omikiji fortune. about Torkoji is this wooden fish hanging from the ceiling. Called a kaipan, it was used to announce meals and services to the monks living here. But the highlight of the temple for me is not actually the temple itself, but what lies beyond it? Nestled in the woods behind the main hall stands the gravesite of the Mori clan. Five hundred stone lanterns line the paths up to the gravestones of these samurai lords, making for a truly mystical atmosphere. In a quirky fashion stemming from Chinese burial practices, Tokoji honours the odd-numbered generations of the Mori clan. The even-numbered generations can be found at Daishōin, a Rinzai Zen temple south of the delta. So, what did you think of Tokoji? I really think it's one of Hagi's secret weapons. There have been a lot of complaints in recent years about over-tourism in other places in Japan but Tōkoji still retains its serene and spiritual atmosphere, so why not stop by if you ever come to Hagi? Before we go, it's time to reveal the answer to last time's question. And now, here's your question for this time. Okay guys, that's all for this time. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Bite Sized Haggy.